Governor Tim Walls and Senator J.D. Vance met on the debate stage as they shared their ticket's plans for the future of the country. Peter Alexander has a recap. In their first and only face-off, J.D. Vance and Tim Walls squaring off in a largely civil and substantive vice presidential debate. The two sparred over the escalating crisis in the Middle East. A nearly 80-year-old Donald Trump talking about crowd sizes is not what we need in this moment. Who has been the vice president for the last three and a half years? And the answer is your running mate, not mine. But turning contentious on immigration, Walls mocking former President Trump for not delivering on his signature campaign pledge. He promised you, America, how easy it would be. I'll build you a big, beautiful wall, and Mexico will pay for it. Less than 2% of that wall got built, and Mexico didn't pay a dime. When the discussion turned to legal Haitian migrants living in Springfield, Ohio, as Vance interjected. The rules were that you guys weren't going to fact check. CBS cut off both candidates' microphones. Gentlemen, you're... The audience can't hear you because your mics are cut. Walls appeared to struggle when pressed about his past comment that he was visiting Hong Kong during the 1989 Tiananmen Square protests, when in fact he did not arrive until months later. I'm a knucklehead at times. Just to follow up on that, th the question was, can you explain the no, discrepancy? Just, all I said on this was, is I got there that summer and misspoke on this, so I, I will just... That's what I've said. Later, in what was the night's most contentious exchange, Vance refused to acknowledge that Donald Trump lost the 2020 election. I would just ask that. Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? That is, a damning, to... that is a damning non-answer. 